Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here, I hope you're all well. My gosh, what a busy week it's been. Okay, so this video was originally um, intended to be a bit of a catch up of the week and also we were gonna do a few Q&A interview questions um, with some of our collaborative artists. But I've only had one question, guys. So either you don't have anything that you wanna ask or you've all forgotten. So I'm just gonna remind you, <laughs> There is a link at the top of the link tree. It's the first button, you press that, and you go and just fill in a little form and just put a question on there. So if you've got a question you would like me to put to your um, the artist in the collaboration, ask away. If not, that's fine, we'll just keep moving on. Okay, so what am I gonna do today? Right, well, I'm gonna do a quick recap with you of the week. Um, I hope you're all really enjoying the collaboration. We've had some absolutely amazing um, videos this week. Um, well, just so far, so, I'm filming this now on the 9th, so it's Saturday afternoon with me, ready for Sunday morning. Um, and I've seen everybody up to um, Corey, so I'm just waiting for Corey's video to come up. Um, what have we had so far? So obviously you did the altered paper clips um, with myself for the letter A. Then we had G. Kurt, she did um, some really cute uh, designs with using up her book pages, and she did some um, embellishing of those, and oh, they were just fantastic, some little flip flap ideas in there there was a real mixture of things going on um rose then we had she made those brilliant hanging tags that she had that were inspired by um tracy fox um so again if you haven't checked those out yet please go and check out her video then we had julie from camellia crafts now i've got to apologize julie when i first put out the, the first square that went out i did spell camellia wrong so i did spot it and altered it earlier in the week but if there's an earlier version of the square floating around as there usually is um please note i have corrected the spelling mistake but julie did an amazing video for us and she showed us all the different things and ideas for us using our die cuts um and what i really liked about it something that never occurred to me before was how she reloaded the, the end bits of the paper and you know cause she did that one pocket and she was she had the half on i think god you know we take a shape out throw the bit of paper aside when really we should be using every side and section and aspect of the paper so that was brilliant then we had bella with e and she did us that brilliant envelope um project where you have the hidden journal card inside um mixing that with an envelope then we had natalie from Lined arrow and she did some fabric printing ideas for us and i don't know if you've seen it yet but that butterfly that she stamped and watercolored was absolutely beautiful so again if you haven't checked out natalie's video get yourselves over to lime.arrow um then we had melanie from the treasured page oh my gosh it blew me out of the water she did the most amazing um collage first of all with all of the different you know some different pages out of the kit then she turned that collage into a journal cover and she made a like traveler's size notebook journal with it and then did a, a ribbon around it. Oh, it was just out of this world. Again, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Brilliant. And then yesterday we had a dragoner from Sasebo and she put together the absolutely most gorgeous snippet roll, um, which she used then as a journal closure. Um, she included these gorgeous little dangle charm things on it. Oh, it was just amazing. Blew my mind. I, in fact, have um, a length of linen that I add all my little like scrappy fabrics to um, and I, I, I've left it up at mum's house so we're going out for tea this afternoon I'm going to grab it and I'm determined tonight I'm going to make one of those snippet rolls because I haven't made them for ages and I've forgotten how much fun they are to do so again if guys if you haven't yet checked out these girls videos please go back and check them out if you have checked them out fantastic thank you for following along and um, just so that I don't forget as well we have a giveaway now a lot of the artists and collaborators have contributed to the giveaway. It's going to be a mass giveaway. I will get a sheet up now um, later this week with the different things that um, everybody's contributing, just so you know what you're playing for, basically. Um, but to enter, what do you need to do to enter? Right, to enter, you need to watch each video on the list and you need to like it. You need to leave a comment on the video and you need to subscribe to the channel. It's as simple as that. 
So I think it's, you know, it, like I say, there's, there's going to be a lot in the um, in the giveaway. So um, considering there's so much up for, for grabs, I think it's it's only fair that they all get a comment and a like on their videos. Um, and I just hope that you are, you are uh, leaving them all lots of encouragement and, um, you know, our gratitude because they've made it so much fun so far, haven't they? Um, I don't know if you've also noticed the, the link that everybody's putting in the description box with the link tree. I hope you're finding it easy to navigate that. Um, you know, share, save that link, uh, the link tree as, as a favourite or something so that you can just go back to that every day because it takes you straight then to the, the artist's uh, YouTube channel every time you click on that. And then you can check out then and keep an eye out for when their daily video goes up. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The kit for the uh, collaboration is on sale. Um, there's a nice big discount on it. Um, again, if you go on the link tree, there's a link at the bottom. It takes you straight to both of the kits. The kit is, comes in two halves. One half of the kit is in our Etsy page, uh, Etsy uh, shop, uh, Rachel and Bella Crafts. And the other half of the kit is at Natalie's Etsy shop, which is line.arrow. Um, and like I say, both of the links are in the link tree if you want to go and check those out. Okay, I think that's all of my announcements. So the only other thing I've got to tell you about now is the fun stuff now. Well, it's all fun, isn't it? It's the freebies. Yay! So uh, when I did the launch video last week, um, those of you that have seen it will have hopefully heard me say I didn't have any ink. <laughs> <laughs> which wasn't an ideal way to be starting out uh, with a new collaboration. Um, so I wasn't able to show you um, the freebies um, or even work with them. I had to just work with what I had because I didn't have the freebies to hand. So just to quickly go back over what I did with you all last in the vid last video, I actually made um, these altered paper clips. So the paper clip is up inside of there neatly in there look and then we did um like belly band shaker ones we did them with pockets in obviously the idea is you can drop that over either side of the page oh that's cute isn't it i haven't looked at these since then and then we've got that one there as well but i had to do them with what i had thankfully i did have a couple of the sheets of the uh, summer bloom kit but i didn't have enough there to print so i have now found my ink <laughs> and you can see i have been busy Fussy cutting, my gosh, is there some ephemera with these two kits. You're certainly not short, but because Natalie and I are both really, really kind, um, we've also done some freebies for you for the um, for the uh, event, the collaboration. So the freebies will go up um, every week. There'll be new ones going every week. Um, I know Natalie has loaded hers in now they've gone into the drive where they were last time again the link is at the top of the link tree uh, last week's um freebies from natalie if you haven't yet seen them make sure you go and get them she did this beautiful file folder and then this beautiful um page as well for you to use so i i have done mine already and i started having a go and i've made a little pocket there so i can put all my ephemera in there um and then i've got this one cut out ready to use beautiful beautiful images on there so make sure you go check that out um and then with our uh, freebies we did these two freebies last week um and they are on our coffee um coffee uh, what is it website again it's linked in the link tree um the if you go into our site on coffee so you click the link it'll take you into coffee spelt k-o-f-i and go to the shop and they are free so you just click put it in your basket, check out. It's all zero, zero for the freebies. Uh, we do have some other kits on sale there. In fact, this kit is actually on sale there as well. So if you um, wanted to do all at the same time, you can, that's not a problem, but that's where our freebies are. So they'll be uploaded into the shop and they were labeled the July collaboration ones. So these ones I did last week were for that um, altered paperclip challenge. So these obviously were meant to be pockets. They fit on this bit here. Then you've got little tags to go into the pockets. And then you've got this bit then to go on the other side and that to go on the other side and then little pockets that'll fit on there. So I'm sure you've worked it all out. Okay, so that's last week's stuff. So this week, um, I've made a few more freebies for you. Like I say, Natalie's done some as well. Make sure you go and check hers out because they are to do with the challenge that is going on in her Facebook group this week. Um, but this week in our Facebook group, which is Junk Journal Trading Post, we have got a new challenge as well. So I've done you, oh, I'm spoiling you, look. I've done you four freebie pages. I've done you some envelopes. That's these ones here. So they're nice big envelopes. 
and I have done you a journal page or a collage page with these super super cute little summery uh, faces poking through here these little vintage little girls so again it's just a bit of a, a collage kind of scene and then I've also done you a page of these mini little envelopes how cute are they aren't they lush right so and just in case you wonder what these are these are the QR codes to the original kit so just in case you haven't bounced around a tree, a tree. Why would you have them bouncing around a tree in a drawer? If you have them bouncing around in a drawer later on and you think, where have these come from? You can just scan that with your, your camera on your phone. I don't know if you don't use a QR code, QR. Hold the, the phone over it, over your camera. And then you'll have a link will come up on the screen of your phone. Tap the link and it takes you straight to their site. But that's what they are. One is for Line to Arrows kit and one is for our kit. So that's those days. I have cut them out ready to show you. And I'm going to kind of just quickly demonstrate for you what we're going to be doing this week. So this is our Facebook challenge. We are going to be working with envelopes. Look how cute these are. These are so cute. So I'm going to just quickly fold them while I explain to you um, what you're going to be doing. So why envelopes? Well, I thought um, I would have liked to have done the freebie for you earlier in the week so that you could have used it to do Bella's... Um, uh, you know what Bella made in her video, her the envelope. Not everybody has a stash of envelopes, so I thought, well, it might be quite handy to have one to cut out. So that's why I did this one, because I'm going to do mine with this one. I think that shape lends itself to it quite nicely. Um, obviously with those bits tucked in, and then you can just cut that bit and do the pulley out bit and what have you. Um, but what uh, I thought we'd do this week is we would do some multimedia um, envelopes. So again, you need envelopes to do some multimedia on them, don't you? Um, so I thought, I know, I will do a nice selection. There are also two with the kit. Uh, that one there comes with the kit. And, oh, actually there's not, there's four. There's these two as well. And there's another coin envelope one here somewhere. Um, oh, I won't be able to see. oh, there it is. That's it. So you also have these. They, these come with the kit. But obviously, if you haven't yet got the kit or what have you, or you just want some, you know, a selection there, um, you can use the freebies as well. So, oh, how cute is that little envelope? Oh, I love it. And then that'll just tuck over then, over the top of the page. Excellent. Now, you can use these with your altered paper clips as well, you see. So, what I thought we'd do is we would look at some different ways in which we can multimedia our um our envelopes so i'm going to just give you some examples and some ideas on how we can do that <laughs>
Okay, so that was just some ideas for you for um, mixed media with the envelope. Now, the second thing that we're going to show you to today is how to make an envelope folio. So we can just keep all our little bits and pieces in and some of our smaller envelopes. So take this template here. And I've taken some of the bits from the kit here, which I've cut already into shape. And this is literally such an easy task to do. So I'm going to pop a bit of glue in here. and pop that into place now obviously if you've got more time to put to it you can stitch around the edge of these pockets just to make them a bit more um, sturdy but um, obviously as it's going to be going into a, an envelope we don't want to make it too bulky really um, and then we'll just pop a little bit of glue whoop, around the edge here keep it neat make sure hands everywhere Here a minute. There we go. So just pop that in place. Just make sure that's not catching there. Nope, that's brilliant. And then let me just straighten that edge up there a minute. So we have a little monkey cut on that. And again, I just used little pieces here from the kit, but it could be anything really. Um, And we'll stick that into place there. Okay. And then hopefully that should now be nice and dry. Let's try this pocket here. Should we go? Oh, I've got a divot in that there. Never mind. Let's put that in there. So now we can place some of our cut out pieces, keeps them all in a nice safe space. And like I say, it's just a nice quick and easy, you can pop all your words in this one then, up here. Let's just quickly cut those. I tend to not cut all my little pieces of them um, right when I'm first cutting, uh, fussy cutting because I find the little bits you tend to lose. So I will leave them in a lump or a lump. Leave them in a one piece until the time comes to use them, otherwise they just disappear. Or they end up in my hoover. That's usually where they end up. <laughs> usually where they've slid under the desk and uh, pop the hoover around under there then. Do you know what, it's like being in a rave here tonight. Our neighbours have had music blaring all afternoon. It's the only downside here with the summer. With, um, with the nice weather comes the noise. And you want to go and sit in the garden and just appreciate peace and quiet and it's not like that at all. <laughs> there we are. I hope they turn it off soon because I'm going to be going to bed shortly. I'll right, have my earplugs in tonight. So there we go. As you can see, you can get quite a bit in there. But I just think that's a bit of a handy place now to put all this, these lovely bits and pieces of ephemera. Oh, glue your fingers. Um, pop that one in there. Now, in a day or two's time, when I'm looking for all of this stuff, I'm going to be like, what do you do with all that stuff I had cut out? There we go. And that's that. So, literally fold those bits in there. Fold our envelope up here. And then fold that down there. And that's it. All nice and compact in our envelope. Now, obviously, you can decorate the outside if you want to. I'm not going to with this one, though. Because, as I say, it's just to... I think that's quite a natty idea there to keep all your bits and pieces in. So again, just another use for that freebie envelope. So just to quickly show you again what we've done. So with this one here, we've I've used some uh, gesso with, I actually used it with one of my sponge dabbers tonight. I haven't done that before with the stencil. And then I just added a little bit of glitter on the top then when it was drying. I hope you can see that on there. But it's just a little bit of something to set it off. So that's that one. Uh, this one here, I used some texture paste again with a different floral stencil. And then I added a little bit of printed uh, fabric onto that there for that word. But again, it's, you know, when you've got a nice pattern underneath it, we don't always want to cover everything over, do you? Um, this one here, we've added a bit of lace, a bit of washi, just lots of different bits and pieces, really. Because um, the stamp was already on the pattern. 
Um, these smaller ones here, just a few examples. So again, we've popped a bit of washi on there because um, I didn't want to waste it. And I've added a stamp. Um, this one here, I've got a tiny, tiny little bit of lace on there and a stamp as well. And then this one here, I've added a little bit of floral washi. I've added a sentiment. And then with a paper clip that I've curled the end of, I've just added this tiny tag with a bit of washi and a little bumblebee on. This one here, oops. I actually stitched around the, um, the envelope so you can see there that I've stitched I stitched around that first just to make that a bit more solid I put some lace under there then I collaged with a little bit of music paper popped one of the hearts on which I also stitched around had a little bimble bee handmade paper then with one of those little tiny stamps but uh, I really like that one it's quite texturized and then this one which is completely different altogether um, I just thought, why not? So we've gone with summer on that. I got loads of these letters I wanted to use up. I had this lovely um, die cut butterfly that uh, somebody sent me um, last year, I think. I think I can remember who it is, but I'm afraid if I say the wrong name. Um, and then some lovely ribbon and uh, a heart. And then again, another sentiment and I put a stamp on that one. But again, obviously you can still utilize the, the envelope if you want to. Um, but they're just some ideas, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, but just something a little bit different. Give you some ideas. So there we are. You've got two challenges there now for this week. You've got your envelope folio to put your ephemera in. And you've got your mixed media envelopes. So go and get your freebies, download them, print them off and see what you're going to make. Um, and hop over to the Facebook um, group and let's see what you can do with your challenges. And of course, don't forget... You've got this lovely page here as well, um, which you can collage with as well. Um, and don't forget to put your pictures in. Have a great week, everybody. I will be back with you very soon. And don't forget to keep watching the videos. Take care now. Bye.